like, yo, listen, I can get anywhere in one dribble. I can get anywhere with no dribbles. My footwork matches up with my ball handling, which is why I think the difference between watching somebody that has a nice handle between somebody that has a great movement pattern. My movements match my handle. So I'm, I'm going to speak about this because I aim, the intangibles come with your mind training. I figured out that I'm more effective with both my hands working simultaneously and my feet working simultaneously than just being able to just move somebody with my shoulders, with my head, with my eyes. I added all that to make a complete package that I have now to be able to spin on my left foot on a spin drive where most people don't expect the righty to spin back left. I practice going on the baseline, two foot jumping, fading right or fading left. These are amounts of reps that I take and practice fades, fading out of, you know, fading from the baseline and shooting over taller defenders because that's what I go against is how efficient are you in every situation that you have the ball and you don't have the ball. You know, I'm like, that was the way I was taught. Now the entertainer and work on that creativity and imagination to be able to do it in fast paced tempo movements, not, oh, I'm going to work on my game for 30 minutes and I'm going to my handle. Like, no, the flow of the ball moves as my body moves and my mind is trained to be able to do that in every situation and then to dribble to a shot. That's a split second decision mm -hmm. to be able to pick up the ball off a, off a bounce off your left hand and shoot it. Not many people can do that comfortably. You know, so I'm always trying to think about mastering those things and trying to do it in a new creative way. And if it happens to be something like, oh, that was a crazy move. Hey, cool.